Hi guys, this is Suraj. Welcome to Teach the Code. Today I will show you how to make uh, a simple HTSS file and you can hide the PHP extension from the URL. I am in my folder called HT. You can create your own folder and this folder you have uh, about.php and an index.php. And in my index.php, I have a simple hi welcome message. And in my about page, I have hi welcome to about us. Okay, and here is my browser, and this is in my local host. And okay, if, if I want to go to about this page, then we will usually write about.php and it will go to hi, welcome to about us to our about us page. And if I delete the php.php extension, then what will happen? Not found error. So we are gonna go into fix this using htss file. How we can do this? We have to create an htss file. So for that I will create an htss file. New file dot ht dot htss and click on enter and it will create an htss file over here. So we have to write some codes in this. If you want to really get into htss file you can look up the documentation and uh, also it's essential to learn some regular expressions for searching the queries first of all i will write rewrite engine o then we are going to go into find our query string what we have to find for that i will write rewrite condition percentage of request then you have to specify file underscore name okay then you have to get what extension that you are gonna going to look for that is dot php extension and minus five and it's essential to put the minus f flag over here we are going to make a copy of this line and uh, paste over here here we write condition request underscore file name next we have to find the ur so we will write u r i okay next we will use an regular expression okay for finding regular expression and how to use it you can go over to some expression documents or you can there are many sites uh, who will support you to study regular expression so I am encouraging you to learn regular expressions it's very important and next I will write rewrite so we have to rewrite the current rule this is also a regular expression and if you don't know what these symbols mean so you can go over to regex.com or you can get a regular expression cheat sheet and you can ex experiment it online so star dollar dollar one slash dot php okay. and this regular expression will automatically assume that whatever L name that will come after slash will assume as dot php file extension. so we don't have to write the dot php extension over and over again it will it will automatically substitute that dot php for us in the url so we will save this one and uh, we will look into it now if i press enter then i will get an intern, uh, internal server so we will look into it what's wrong with this there is a mistake there is no space in between rewrite engine and if I press play again then I will get a high welcome to about us and we didn't write any dot extension over here and we didn't write any extension after the file name so if you have many files then you can just simple simply write the URL okay that's it thank you for watching my tutorial